The state now says traffic delays could last months while crews work to repair this overpass damaged by a truck that hit it yesterday on 93 South. Drivers are facing detours in that area right now, and as WBZ's Christina Hager tells us, the trucker who caused the problem is now facing a fine. Police say the Alabama man driving the truck carrying this huge blue metal water tank was not permitted to drive on I-93. And the load was nine inches too high for the bridge it crashed into Monday with a maximum clearance of 14 feet. There's going to be lane restrictions in place. That's likely going to be months. Cars in Medford circling around for alternative routes. Because I always went up to 93. I'm used to driving the highway. So what are you going to do instead? I'm going to go back home. All because the oversized load on the truck owned by Dove Transportation hit the bottom of Medford's Roosevelt Circle overpass. The loudest bang I ever heard, and it shook the house. Crews now demolishing a damaged steel beam and section of the bridge deck before replacing it. The goal is to get it open for tomorrow morning, but I have to tell you, it's a complicated bridge right now. It's, uh, it's looking more and more like tomorrow morning's commute is also going to get impacted. If that sounds like a long ordeal, strap in, say transportation officials. The bridge work could take at least a half a year. They're doing a good job over there, but it's going to take some time. It's not easy, especially with all the traffic and people trying to go by. Transportation officials expect ripple effect backups on other roads around here like Route 1, Route 16, Route 28. And the Roosevelt Circle here. They're asking people to consider public transportation or something we've all gotten used to doing over the last year working from home. In Medford, Christina Hager, WBC News.